Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing? I am doing fabulous. Excuse the busted up look, <laughs> but I have a lot of things planned today that are labor intensive, and I am just not trying to get all cute and glammed up to be sweating off makeup and everything else. So, anywho, I am headed off over to my son's house. He just got his apartment, and I'm so excited for him. So I'm going to go over and take some things for him and kind of visit with him for a little while. I have chores to do today. I have errands to run, and I'll be taking you along with me. So um, I actually have on my tennis shoes today. Um, let's see if I can show you. Hold on. Got on got on my nikes today anyway um i've been trying to get my walking and stuff in and i am experiencing a little pain in my hips because i started back walking i think like wednesday um this past week you know a few days ago so um the more i move around the more um pain that i experience because i have arthritis in my hips and in my lower back and things like that so but that's not an excuse. I'm trying to get my movement in. Uh, I've been walking about 30 to 40 minutes and getting my steps in. So, uh, if depending on how I feel after I get everything done today, I may go ahead over to the gym and walk a little bit. But either way, I'll take y'all along with me. So, we'll be seeing you soon. Mm -hmm. Bye. So, what's up, everybody? Okay, I'm leaving my son's place and. Now I'm headed on back on my side of town. Dropped off him some food. Went and picked up him a couple household items. Glad that everything is going well. Happy that he is on his own, doing his own thing. They are growing up so fast. My son is 23, my daughter is 21. And my daughter is actually, um, every six months we're celebrating one of their birthdays because my son is born in June and my daughter is born in December. So my, uh, they're 18 months apart, um, but for six months, they're two years apart. So my daughter will be turning 22 in December. So yeah, we'll be celebrating a birthday. I always joke that my husband threw everybody off, off because me, my son, and my daughter, all of our birthdays fall in months that are divisible by three. So... My daughter's December, my son is June, I'm September, my husband is April. I'm like, you were supposed to be March. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> so, outside of my husband, every three months, one of us is having a birthday. So, I don't I don't know how he messed all that up, but <laughs> I messed with him about that. So, anyway, um, yeah, so I'm headed on back on my side of town. Uh, I'm going to get my chores started. Um, I have a couple uh, videos that I have to edit and, um, you know, some other things that I have to do. I do have a follow-up conference call with my board tomorrow uh, for some things that were supposed to happen this week. And we just need to talk about the outcome of those uh, tasks. So we'll get into that discussion. But... Anyway, so I'll pick back up with you all in just a little bit. What's up, everybody? I done made it back to the house, and I am about to get started. I have to edit a couple of videos, um, upload those videos. I have to get started on my chores, um, do my grocery list. Um, before I can do that, I have to um, actually look at what I want to try to fix for this week. Uh, for me to be able to take lunch and things like that because I as I said before, you know, I started back walking So I'm trying to kind of get my meals and all that stuff back on track, too I know it's going to be um, a process because I'm trying to do things a little bit differently As I stated in a couple of my videos that, you know, I'm trying to eliminate waste and basically meal prepping for both me and my husband We've been throwing out food because, you know, he's not his taste and things like that changes up and so it kind of leaves me stuck with too much food um, more than I can consume at dinner and lunch and you know then if I have to eat the same things over and over and over again without any variation then I get a little bored so uh, trying to detour from dealing with that come up with a different game plan so I'll be thinking about that uh, this weekend uh, before I actually go spend any money at the grocery store. So I had a good time with my sons I just spent time with him and his girlfriend and um, it was a nice little um, a visit.
Um, one of the things I want to show you, and I think I'm probably going to do um, um, a review on this item. I haven't actually uh, used it yet, but I've had it and I want to check it out. Um, I found this at the dollar store and I grabbed two of these. I'm taking one of these to my coworker who's also a vegetarian. And this is basically um, a nut butter bar mix, but as you can see, you can do the balls. Um, the nut butter and then they have uh, another item that you can make and here's also where you can uh, use it to do like the crust of the che of a cheesecake um, and they have um, preparation information on the back so here are the here's the nutritional value um, you can zoom in if you're having trouble dealing with that um, I would imagine this is probably I would, at least I thought it would have been high in sugar but as it turns out um, Two tablespoons of the mix is uh, 70 calories, 2.5 grams of fat, only 20 milligrams of sodium, seven carbs, but you have one uh, gram of fiber, so you got six net carbs, uh, less than a gram of sugar, See, I, I would have thought differently, um, but you also have three grams of protein. You can actually create a little bit more protein for yourself if you take and you actually you do the the nut butter mix and add a scoop of protein powder so that's what i'm going to do to make it a little bit more of an energy ball uh for myself but i'll have to let y'all know how this turns out not really sure um i'm going to try to fix it this weekend as snacks for me for me to be able to take uh for myself and for my husband uh to work but i'm anxious to try this out because you have um you know, this is like the entire kit, everything that, you, that you're going to need in here. And it says that the mix includes whole grain oats, ground almonds, rice crisp cereal, whey protein isolate, wheat germ, vanilla flavoring, and sunflower lectin. So anyway, um, it's a whole a no-bake kit. And you don't have to cook it. So I'm, I want to try this out. I'm hoping I'll be able to get to it this weekend. But if not... That's okay. So I got laundry to put away. I got to get started on the laundry for this week. Um, if it's anything like a couple weeks ago, I had to actually wait um, because I didn't have enough clothes to wash for me to, to do laundry. So I, I paired uh, two weeks worth of laundry together for, so that I'm not wasting water and detergent. So anyway, we'll see y'all in a little bit after I edit my video. What's up everybody? So I'm about to go for my walk with the hubby. Since I didn't go to the gym, I'm gonna get my steps in. We're gonna walk on the trail. I'm take y'all along with us. walking with the hubby and I started thinking about I saw the other day um, a video about um, it was a couple giving advice and I think that they were like five uh, things to have five things to remember to have a successful marriage I believe is what it was they gave some good tips one of the things that they talked about was communication they mentioned transparency. Um, communication what? And transparency. Communication, transparency, and um, let me see. Communication, transparency. I forget what the other things are. I'll list them in the video when I remember them. And then I'll put a link to the video in the description box. And But while I was walking with the hubby, <laughs> uh, He's a conspiracy theorist. <laughs> but while I was walking with the hubby, I wanted to ask him, even if we repeat what some of the other people said, you know, what do you think? We've been married, coming up on 28 years. We've been together 28 years already. What do you think are 
let's say three tips for people to have a successful marriage. Three tips. Three tips that you can give, say like a newlywed couple or somebody who's thinking about marriage. What would you say are three tips that, you know? Okay. Uh, communication. Mm-hmm. Compromise. Uh, that was one of the ones that the couple said. That's good. I'm glad you reminded me of that. Friendship. Friendship. Okay. Because if you got friendship in your communication and your compromise, everything else will fall into play. I think. Mm-hmm. I think friendship covers a lot. Because you tell a friend more than you tell anybody else. Mm-hmm. You trust your friend. Mm-hmm. So you can't say trust, you say friendship. Friendship takes care of a lot of it. So what is your version of communication? I mean, what is your definition of communication? <laughs> you know, I got lousy communication. Why do you want to ask me that? <laughs> so, would you say that even after 28 years, we're still working on our communication? Oh, yeah. Well, me. No, I think it's both of us. I, because one of the things, I did a video on communication already. And one of the things that I mentioned was sometimes when you are doing your version of communication, it may not necessarily be translated the way that it's in your mind. You may be hearing yourself say one thing, but the person who's actually hearing it, on, receiving it on the other end, may not be receiving it the same way that you're putting it out there. So, would you say that's a fair assessment? So, communication is about making sure that not just that you're speaking the words, well, verbal communication, that you're speaking the words that you mean, but that you're also confirming that the words are being received on the other end the right way right yes i think it's my responsibility to make sure that i'm not just saying the words to you but that to make sure that i'm saying them clear enough where you actually understand the meaning behind what i'm trying to say right because it's not fair to you to assume that just because i spoke the word that you got it. right so um what was the other thing you compromise you mentioned compromise so, like, what is your definition of compromise? It's my, it's my definition of compromise. Mm -hmm. uh, in a marital situation? Well, I think uh, we're... Compromise is you gotta give and take. It's, uh, that's what it is, giving and take. Yeah. You know when there is to uh, accept things, and then sometimes knowing when to not accept them and just be stirring them One of the comments, one of the comments that I made on the video was that I think it's important for couples to know the difference between compromise and sacrifice. True. Because I think some people compromise to the point of sacrifice, and it's not fair. It's not fair to them, and it's really to the point of sacrifice. Yeah, because it's like you're giving up something so much to the oh. point where you're not happy now because you didn't. It's no longer. Sacrifice. Yeah. Sacrifice. Right. Right giving up that same thing that's about that's all you mm -hmm. point where it's not you anymore because you don't compromise because of whatever may come along and then that's removed from you now you into doing something else or saying something else or reacting another way right. yeah that's a, that's uh i don't know if that was a turtle man. you know my, my uh, it is it is yeah Sorry, y'all. We got caught up in the environment. Okay, so back to what we were talking about. We thought we saw a turtle. <laughs> Squirrel! No. <laughs> but, um, you don't let them know when you say that, what that means. So oh, they don't just think you crazy. No, it's a lot of people that say that. It's, it's, it's a gimme. But yeah, so anyway. And then the last thing you talk about, friendship. I think it's important too, but I also think that it's hard um as as often as you would like to be your mate's friend it's definitely you know i think you should be best friends but i also think that it's hard because sometimes when you're having problems yes you should communicate with your mate and your mate should be the first 
really the only one that knows what's going on. But when you hit a point where you um you might have you might be stuck and you need a third party, you know, I'm not saying that the the third party should be the decision maker and whatever's going on in the marriage. But I just think that sometimes it can get a little tricky. Um, I know a lot of married couples would disagree, but that's just my opinion. You know, I think I, I do agree that you should be friends and even best friends, but I also think that sometimes it's hard. You know, even if you're talking, you know, to another married couple or whatever, you know, he didn't. I'm about to say he he looking at fruit on the trees. <laughs> he didn't completely left me in the conversation by myself. <laughs> so anyway, I had to compromise. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, uh. So yeah, I mean you you want to if you're spending as much time together as you need to, you know, for your relationship to be effective, being friends shouldn't be difficult. Um, but also making sure that one of the things they talk about was transparency. You know, if you're not transparent in your relationship and there are things that are hidden, and it can happen, even when you don't mean for it to happen, when you agree that sometimes, you know, the things can be hidden, not because you do anything wrong, but just because you're not talking as much, you're not being as transparent as you should be in your relationship because you're not spending a proper amount of time together. That's possible. So, you know, you want to try to spend as much time as you can together so that the other person always knows where you are, you know, mentally and spiritually and physically and emotionally, you know, it's not a... Non-verbal communication where you, if you, you know, yeah. look at them and they'll know, oh, it's, it's not... Yeah, today wasn't a good day. <laughs> I'm not in a good place. I need you to help me. Or get me out of here. Yeah, there have been times when... You know, I was having a really bad day at work and my husband, and he doesn't call me every day. I know we started out doing that periodically. We'll, you know, start calling each other or texting each other or emailing each other and then we'll fall off because of work responsibilities. But there have been times when I was in a really bad place at work and he'll pop up and call me and I'd be about ready to break down in tears because I'm like, you just don't know how bad I need to hear your voice. Oh, I'm baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's the truth I be jacked up and I be mad as I don't know what and then he'll pop up and call me and I'm like he the only person I can be 100% raw with I can say whatever I want to say he doesn't judge me he doesn't you know make me feel bad for feeling that way or thinking that way you know he's my he's my buffer you know he's he's the person that makes a difference in being able to manage my stress sometimes. He, I play, you know, I think we on a scavenger hunt. What y'all think? Going from finding quarters on the ground to he done found somebody insurance cards. Earlier he found somebody Walgreens cards and he doing in search of with the, with the grapefruits and the fruit on the tree. We supposed to be walking. <laughs> Anyway, all right, y'all. We'll catch up with y'all when we make it back to the house. Say peace. We'll see you later. Stacey Green. Do. <laughs>